fellas? What's motherfucking good? Today, I'm going to teach you guys all about seduction. So let's get to it. First things first, your motherfucking hygiene is important. Your goddamn hygiene is important. Your teeth, your nails, the way your fucking breath stink. I don't want, women don't want you in their goddamn face when you got your breath stinking. They don't want your fucking mouth smell like Similac and fucking ass. They want you to, women prefer to smell mints. There's a study. There's a goddamn study about it. Women prefer to smell mincy fresh, okay? Men prefer to smell a floral type of fruit or fucking floral type of fucking scent on a woman's skin. Women prefer a minty scent, all right? So, rule number one. Get your ass some gum, floss, Listerine, goddamn, go to the dentist, brush your goddamn teeth, and keep that shit plaque free. The next thing that's important for fucking seduction is motherfucking cologne. You take your goddamn cologne and you spray it on your neck, on these two outer parts. You spray it behind your goddamn neck, open neck. You spray that shit on your fucking wrist. You spray it there because these locations are where your pulse is at. Say you're dead right now. Say you're dead. Say you're dead. Motherfucking people are gonna check your pulse. Oh, it's beating. Oh, he's not alive. Oh, the pulse is gone. They're gonna check your damn pulse to see if you're motherfucking alive. Moral of the story, your pulse is essentially what's gonna heat up the cologne. The cologne is made out of some synthetic fibers, I mean, synthetic fucking products, whale blubber, other type of fragrances, all jam packed into goddamn $120 cologne. Have a different cologne for every day of the week, and then a woman will have a different scent on you, okay? You'll have a different scent on you, and I'll throw people off that's used to being around you. Women love to compliment people on their scent, okay? That's one way of shooting a shot. So we covered first, hygiene, which is important. Second is cologne. These things are in order for you to be inviting for them to come and, and seek you out and talk to you and be in your vicinity, all right? So say you give a woman a hug, you wear your cologne, here, here, core of your chest, back of your neck, on two sides of your wrist, you go in for a hug. After you get a girl a hug, she, that scent is gonna linger on her. She may take off her damn clothes later on in the day and smell her clothes. We covered scent, we covered freaking hygiene, and next, we are going to talk about engagement and eye contact, all right? So you're gonna have to slow down the way you talk, lower your voice a little bit to keep it between you and her. She's gonna slowly try to match the way you're talking to her. You see how way I just slowed down how I'm speaking? Looked into your eyes, looked away, got your eye contact back, look away. How and when to use seduction is important. You can lean in a little closer, talk a little lower. Don't use these fucking tactics on your damn goddamn coworkers. Don't use these fucking tactics on your damn classmates when they only gave you the damn number for a class project. Don't be a goddamn creep. Don't be 21 years old using these damn tactics on a 16 year old, you fucking weirdos. Use these tactics on women when you're in a nice, intimate setting. Too much of a thing is a bad thing. She can be like, yo, why the hell are you making that light skin face? No, don't fucking switch your goddamn face up like that. Take it nice and motherfucking easy, fellas. Nice and motherfucking easy. Make sure you bring her in close. Look, give her some eye contact. Look away. Go back to the eye contact. Engage her some. If she's not staring at you and she's just looking motherfucking right, motherfucking left, don't just go out there and be looking at the back of your head, okay? Don't be looking at the damn head, 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 head motherfucking tired. Don't be looking at the motherfucking back of a goddamn head while she's just staring at you. That's fucking weird. Also, a seduction, when you're engaging with people, engaging with women, make sure you glance between her eyes and her lips. Eyes, her lips. Her eyes, her lips. So say she's looking away from you right now, right? Say she's looking in the goddamn other direction. Motherfucking 
take your hand. If you're comfortable with her, if she's touched, if she's broken the touch barrier with you multiple times, if she's grabbed your damn shoulder, grab your goddamn forearm, grab your damn chin, grab your neck. If she's grabbed you multiple times, now you can break the touch barrier with her. Take your hand while she's looking away. Grab her chin. Rotate her chin towards you while you're simultaneously coming in. Okay? That's when you're in an intimate area. Not when you're out in fucking public or at the damn movie theater. We try to get some magic to happen in an intimate location, in a bedroom, in a goddamn couch. Use these goddamn tactics. Take her head. Rotate it towards you while simultaneously going for a kiss. To be assertive, like you're pretty much in her personal space. She's allowing you to do that. And she's welcoming it, okay? Don't goddamn do this to a, someone while you're at fucking work and wonder why you goddamn got fired for sexual harassment, okay? You have to do this with a woman you built a rapport with that's interested in you, that you know for sure. Not freaking, don't be delusional. You have to know for sure that she's truly interested in you sexually. Not your goddamn cousin. Not your motherfucking sisters, you ancestral fucks. Take her chin, rotate it towards you. She's looking away. Look up at her face. Look up at her eyes, down to her lips. Up at her eyes again. Close your damn eyes and you kiss. And you motherfucking kiss, okay? And that is some key pointers of seduction. Make sure she touched the touch barrier first during that day. Because you know, you'll say some one-liners. You'll say something in general. She may think of you as one of the funniest people on earth if her interest is high as hell in you. But once that interest low, then a motherfucker, anything you're gonna say make her mad, pissed, corny as hell, and it's not even gonna work in your damn favor, okay? So more of the story, hygiene, make sure your teeth are fucking clean. Make sure your goddamn cologne smells nice, not overbearing. Don't choke her out. Don't choke her ass out with cologne. You don't want to be that person known for all that nigga had a stinky ass cologne on. And then engaging the person, the correct moment, when the time is right, the perfect fucking setting. Don't damn near try to holler at your damn classmate in a motherfucking classroom if I can try to kiss her there. Don't try to freaking make out with a coworker. I know the Cinderella rule is an important thing. You know, say you 18 years old and a girl 16, but y'all started dating when you was 14 and she was fucking 12. Don't motherfucking use these damn tactics on a goddamn teenager if you're a fucking 22 year old. Don't do no Tiger and Kylie Jenner shit. The more the story, I'm going out of hell fast as hell, for like 80 miles an hour. Use the seduction things and pass this stuff along to people in need. I know the Reddit community is full of a whole bunch of people that's not used to fucking interacting with women. Life is fucking crazy. But guys, seduction. And I'm motherfucking out. Peace. I hope I ain't missed my damn turn. Giddy.